We will begin with a brief review of the basic anatomy of the eye. The cornea is the clear, dome-shaped anterior and central surface of the eye. The three functions of the cornea are to provide structure, clarity, and refractive power. The normal cornea is therefore non-vascularized as the presence of vessels would interfere with its clarity. The conjunctiva is a thin vascularized layer of tissue covering the white sclera and forms an anatomic junction with the cornea at the limbus. The conjunctiva and sclera are non-visual structural parts of the eyeball or globe. The iris is the pigmented ring of tissue located posterior to the cornea and anterior to the lens. It constricts and dilates in response to varying levels of light. The pupil is actually a central circular anatomic aperture, or dead space, formed by the iris. The space in between the cornea and the iris is the anterior chamber and is filled with aqueous, a clear watery fluid. Behind the iris is the lens, which is held in position by zonules. Cataracts can form within the lens secondary to the normal aging process or related to trauma, atriogenic, or certain genetic or medical conditions. The anatomic space between the lens and the retina, which is the neurosensory tissue layer lining the interior of the globe, is filled with a clear gel-like substance called vitreous.